<laughs> At a time of my life, I did try to grow my hair, and it was kind of ridiculous. You don't want to see that. My hair just grows up, just like does not grow down. And uh, same with Steve, our drummer, and Joel was kind of the same. You know. So yeah, it's just not not really who we are. You know. I, I know it is funny because. So many nights on stage, you know, you see friends with long dreads in their hair, and you're just like, man, that'd be fun to have, you know, but... Anyway, I usually am just singing in our dressing room, just walking around, doing warm-ups and singing, and the guys are kind of rehearsing and, you know, tuning and everything, and other than that, sometimes we, yeah, we have a playlist that we'll play, just pump up tunes, you know, that get pumped up for the show, and everybody's very quiet, we're very focused, we kind of, we get together in a group and, and pray you know, and uh, just give it to God and, and then get up on stage. It's something that you never really get used to, you know, we we really don't take that for granted. You know, we, we've always taken that really serious, you know, that uh, I think when you when you make the decision to play music, um, it's, you're also deciding to be a role model. And that's not in a cocky way, that's not saying like, oh, you know, bunch of people look up to us it's just saying that you know I used to look up to musicians and bands and still do you know there's still bands that I look up to and, and uh, that's that's something that's always going to happen and when, you've, when you're given any size of platform uh, you're going to have that and I think it's something you need to take responsibility for you know and be serious about it. You know, for us, honestly, we've always just made music for everyone. You know, our hearts have always just been to make music for everyone, and we're all Christian guys. You know, that's that's our personal faith and, and choice, and that's to to me. You know, our, our faith has always been our lifestyle. Different music speaks to different people. You know, I just love a good song. So whether it's hard rock or hip hop or dance, country, whatever, I, I like it if it's a good song. And so I think for us, this is this is the way we naturally came together musically and the way that we communicate. You know, that's something that would speak to us. We we. Uh, we're so blessed to do this, and God is so good, you know, and we, uh, we really do give Him all the glory, you know, for, for anything good that comes out of this, but we're just uh, having, a, having a good time being here and uh, excited about connecting with more people. You know, we still love music like we did when we were just kids, you know, it's just there's still so much magic in music, you know, and it really is our passion and our hearts, you know, as people and um, a way that we can communicate feel safe communicating and but uh, I think you know with we've been doing this as TFK about man 17 18 years now since high school and so you know in that time you know I think if you the biggest difference between then and now is you know we've just learned so much along the way you know we've had the privilege of, of playing music this long and still feel like we're just getting started but yeah you learn a lot along the way you know and so it's more the experience There's been a couple periods of life where you you think about it. Like sometimes you just get a little rundown, you know. Sometimes you're out on the road so much, or you're, you're just so busy with this that there's times when you just. Over the years, we learned that that you need to take a break in there and just to keep stay healthy, you know. And uh, so we've tried to do that the best we can, and, and it's worked out well, you know. But there's been moments through the years where you kind of wonder, like, man, how long can I just keep this pace up, you know? And, uh, we're blessed to have awesome wives too, and um, some of us are having children. The other, we have uh, our drummer Steve has three girls, and so yeah, it's not always it's not easy to be away, you know. But we, um, you adapt. Uh, man, that's a big question. Um, one band to <laughs> to the galaxy to aliens. That would be somewhere between you two. Maybe the Foo Fighters, maybe the Beastie Boys, somewhere in there. I think our question is going to be, what do you think about the Ukraine audience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our first time and uh, we've been looking forward to it. It's been awesome. Yeah, it's been a great experience so far. And although I haven't got to see the crowd yet, we have spent time with, with some people, about 20, 30 people in, in a meet and greet, and honestly it was just, they're so incredibly sweet. They brought us these gifts, this plate, and this chocolate microphone, it was all signed, and they made us CDs, and made t-shirts, and they were just super cool, so man, we, we were blown away. We're excited to, uh, to be here, and hopefully we can do this a lot more. Uh, 
ask them if they've tried the dumplings here. Thank we had some you. great dumplings last night. Just saying. So.